Hello friends, this video on P block part 45 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll talk about the chemical properties. In the chemical properties, we'll talk about the reactivity towards hydrogen, towards water, towards oxygen, and towards other metals. We'll also talk about the reaction of halogens with other halogens. Let's start with reaction of halogens with hydrogen. Let's see how this halogen reacts with hydrogen. In fact, all the halogen they react with hydrogen to form hydrogen halide. They form hydrogen halide. Why? See, hydrogen has tendency to lose electron to form H plus. All this halogen has tendency to gain electron to get X minus. Why? Because they get the stable electronic configuration and thus they form hydrogen halide of this form HX. Okay. Please note all these hydrogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, acetine, they react with hydrogen to form hydrogen halide. And this affinity for hydrogen actually decreases down the group. Why? Why the affinity for hydrogen, uh, hydrogen decreases? Because the affinity or tendency to form X minus also decreased down the group. So affinity to react with hydrogen also decreased down the group. Okay. So that is my hydrogen halide. So you take hydrogen, you react with any halogen, you get HX. Okay. So if you talk about the stability of HX, my HF is more stable than my HCl and then HBr and then HI. You can talk about, you can think from this perspective F minus Cl minus Br minus I. So HF is more stable than HCl, than HBr, than HI. In fact, HF has extra stability because of the hydrogen bond we just discussed. Okay, and these HX actually, if you react with water, you get hydrohalic acid. That is HX in aqueous form. It's called hydrohalic acid. This is HX gas. Okay, this is hydrohalic acid. And since, if you see here, I just told HF, HCl, HBr, then I have HI. This is the stability, right? Stability. So HF is more stable, HI is least stable. Since HI is least stable, it is more strong acid. This is strongest acid. Because it is least stable, it breaks easily into H plus 9 minus ions. Okay. Hope you understand us why why this is happening. H hydrogen react with halogen to form HX hydrogen halide, and this hydrogen halide when react with water, it forms hydrohalic acid. This is same as H is HX itself, but in an aqueous medium. This is gas. Hydrogen halide. This is my hydrohalic acid. And the stability, if you talk hydrogen fluoride is maximum stable, hydrogen iodide is least stable, and it is strongest acid among all the hydrogen halide. HF has a strong bond, uh, hydrogen bond, we have seen that, it, it, F, F has slightly negative charge, H slightly positive charge, again you have a more HF molecule, slightly negative, slightly positive, there is a bond between hydrogen and fluorine, it is called hydrogen bond. Okay, the next thing as I told you, this reaction, right, H plus X if HX, here the reaction rate is different, we will see that, for example, fluorine when react with hydrogen, even at minus 200 degrees Celsius, it forms 2HF and it is very violent, very violent. But our chlorine will react with hydrogen, but it needs sunlight. Without sunlight, it won't react. It will form 2HCl. It is a chain reaction. Since it is a chain reaction, it is explosive. It is explosive only because it is a chain reaction, but take place only in the presence of sunlight. If you talk about bromine, when you rea react with hydrogen, you need some heat. Also, you need some catalyst to increase the reaction speed. So you need, you get 2 HBr. It is a moderate rate reaction. Moderate rate, that too, you need some temperature heat and catalyst. If you talk about iodine, when it reacts with the hydrogen, you need very high temperature. You need catalyst 
and this is a reversible reaction in 2 hi is a reversible reaction so if you see all reaction with hydrogen but different halogens fluorine even if minus 200 degrees celsius the reaction takes place very violent chlorine reaction takes place only in the presence of sunlight bromine you need some heat and some catalyst iodine you need high temperature catalyst and also this reaction is reversible reaction please note this is called hydrogen halide not halogen hydride please note when i am talking about this it is my hydrogen fluoride hydrogen chloride hydrogen bromide hydrogen iodide so it is called hydrogen halide this is the name it is not called halogen hydride why because this halide are i mean halogens are more electro negative so the the conversion is the first element is electro positive or more electro positive the second one is less electro positive or the reverse way this element the last element is more electro negative so if you see first has to be more electro positive so in case if, in case of this hydrogen is more electro positive than halogen okay so halogen are more electro negative than hydrogen both are same thing actually so we write hx we don't write xh the first element is more electro positive this is electro negative more electro negative okay so we don't write xh we write hx okay but for example uh, ch4 we write carbon here we write hydrogen here but in case of this we write hydrogen first and then halogen we don't write xh why because the first element has to be more electro positive and then electro negative okay please note this point the convention is the first element is my electro positive and the second atom is by electro negative in a given molecule so in this case since chlorine uh, hydrogens are more electro negative you write halogens later and then my hydrogen more example for example if7 first we write i and then f why does fluorine is more electro negative for example hclo2 first we write hydrogen more electro negative uh, more electro positive then chlorine and then oxygen we write clf this is more electro negative got it nacl chlorine is more electro negative or example brf5 so here fluorine is more electro negative so the electro negative elements come in the last and the, on the left the electro positive element comes that is that is a normal convention we have if you talk about the boiling point if you see hf has a very high boiling point and then if you see if you ignore hf then in this scenario the boiling point increase as we go down the group as we go down the group hf has a very strong boiling point because of hydrogen bond we have seen they have a very strong boiling point in fact the same trend is for the melting point also very high values but apart from this if you see this this trend hcl hbr and hi then the melting point and the boiling point actually increase down the group why because the size of the molecule increase and the van der waal force increase this is because of van der waal force because of size increase and this is because of h bond so fluorine is special here fluorine is special here apart from fluorine they follow a normal trend as we go down the group the van der waal force increase because the size of chlorine fluorine bromine iodine increase the size of the whole hcl and hbr and hi molecule increase the van der waal force increase and thus the boiling point increase but in case of fluorine special case because of hydrogen bond they have high melting and boiling point right so if you see this hf is actually liquid while other are gas at stp okay because these temperature are in kelvin so they are uh, these hf is liquid and other are gas at stp also if you talk about uh, this one acidic character so let's see their behavior so let's see the acidic uh, behavior 
So HF is a weak acid. React with water from OH3 plus F minus. Or you can say H3O plus also. HI H2 gives H3O plus. You can write H3O plus more meaningful plus prime. So this HF is a weak acid here. And HI is a strong acid. As I told why? Because HF because of hydrogen bond also and small size it is little stable. HI the size is big. This is H this is I. Size is big. This is small size. This is stable. This is not stable. So HI dissociates easily the strong acid in water. And HF is a weak acid in water. But as I told HF is always special. Hydrogen fluoride is always special. See, hydrogen fluoride is a weak acid in water, but it behaves as a strong acid in ammonia. So let's see this. HF when reacts with ammonia, it forms NH4 plus ammonium salt and F minus. Now if you see F minus is a weak base as compared to NS3. But F minus is a strong base as compared to what? Right, this is strong base as compared to water. This F minus is a weak base as compared to ammonia. So, as per my Laurie Bronstein theory, acid is strong if the conjugate base is weak. Conjugate base is weak, that means acid is strong. So here it acts as a strong acid. An acid is weak if the conjugate base is my strong, so this acid is weak. Please understand this. So as per my Laurie Bronstein theory, an acid is weak if the conjugate base is strong. An acid is strong if the conjugate base is weak. So it's a special case. Hydrogen fluoride is a weak acid in water, but it is a strong acid in ammonia. Okay. So if we talk about the reaction of hydrogen with HF, it formed two series of salt. One is of this form, KHF2 and K2F2. These two series of salt, my HF forms. HF is formed two series of salt. And as I told this HF because of strong hydrogen bonding. Slightly negative, slightly negative, slightly positive, slightly positive. So the strong hydrogen bonding, it is less volatile, it is little uh, weak reducing agent, it is thermally stable. It is also liquid. So these were the properties of the reaction of halogen with the water. Okay, if you see the bond length also increase. The bond length increase why? Because uh, this uh, size increase. This is all the thing. The size is increasing. The bond length is also increasing. Bond dissociation enthalpy also follows the trend. Only fluorine is special, but apart from that, the bond dissociation enthalpy also follows the trend. If you go down the group you need less energy to break the bond. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.